Some people say that English people are too weird to be real, and sometimes I agree. Today I'm going to show you five of the weirdest English expressions that we actually use. Let's imagine it's your friend's birthday tomorrow. You need to buy her a present. Hmm. Crikey! This is one of my favourite expressions. Very popular in British English. Very, very popular in Australian English. Americans don't really use this. And it just means you're surprised about something. Wow! We usually use this in like a fun or silly, jokey way because the word is funny. Crikey! It's been a year already? But yeah, we can use this for bigger, more serious or more shocking situations like... Crikey, that's a huge alligator! Hmm, we need to get her a present and move very quickly, move very fast. Which expression means move very fast? Hmm. Lickety split. Lickety split. It's all gonna be over lickety split. We need to get her a present, lickety split. British English, we don't really use this. American English, they do. We need to get her a present, lickety split. Yeah, British English, we don't sound cool saying this, so it's better in American English. It kind of sounds cute too, so keep that in mind if you're trying to sound professional, like in a business situation. I don't recommend that you say this, but you definitely will hear it, so that's what that means. Chocolate. It's always a good idea. So, can you get her some chocolate, please? Okie dokie. Personally, I say this a lot, especially in my classes. And my students always ask, Um, Ali, what does okie dokie mean? I thought it was obvious, but apparently not. So, okie dokie is just a fun, silly way to say okay. That's it. But keep in mind, it's a fun, silly way to say okay. So you'll never hear this said in an angry way, like... Okie dokie. Yeah, no, that won't happen. Just simple things. Hey, can you do this for me? Okie dokie. Ah, <sighs> radio. Or righty ho. Or you might hear this as righty roo. And yes, this is basically the same as okie dokie. Just a fun, silly way to say okay. But we also use this to finish a conversation in a soft, polite way. Ah, righty o. Yeah, I should get going. By the way, I should get going is a softer, nicer way to say, I'm leaving. Did you notice the pronunciation too? Rightio. Yes, it's a T, but we pronounce it like a D here. However, if you want to use a posh RP sounding voice for this, that's fine too. Righty ho. But that sounds too much. You want this to sound soft, right? Change the T to a D. It's much better. Ah, so you've finished your shopping, you've got all the things that you need, and then you remember, oh no. Oopsie daisies, I forgot to buy the chocolate. Now maybe you saw this expression in the movie Notting Hill. Oopsie daisies. Oh. <laughs> so when you make a mistake, you do something silly, this is what a child might say, or what you might say to a child. Like a, oh no, but in a child way. Also, there are so many ways to spell this. Mm. Yeah, all of these are acceptable and there's no one true way to spell this. So again, don't worry. It's a stupid expression that we all say, but if you spell it wrong, no one cares. Don't use this for a serious situation like, whoopsie daisy, I ran over your cat. No, just silly casual situations like oopsie daisies I forgot to buy the present 
Again though, you would only say this with a child. If you're alone as an adult and you want to say something stronger, you'll probably just say f sh mother f or something stronger. Why is your mum upside down? This means the bottom is now at the top. You can also say this when things get reversed. Like in Stranger Things, they go to the upside down. Everything is backwards and strange in there. Back to front literally means the back is now at the front and you need to change it round. <sighs> the same with inside out. Again, literally, you're saying the inside is on the outside. But we also use inside out to say, I know every detail about this thing or this person. For example, I know this system inside out. You could also say inside and out. We also have a fun expression that means the exact same thing to say, I know everything about this. I know this system like the back of my hand. I'm so familiar with this thing that it's the same as my hand. I know my hand, I know this system. Do you like my new haircut? It looks wonky. Wonky just means it's not right. It's out of order or it's not straight like this. Basically, the alignment is wrong. So do you have a wonky haircut? What do you know inside and out? Have I missed any from this list? Let me know in the comments and I'll include them in a future video. Don't forget to get my ebook to practice this and many other lessons on my website, papateachme.com or patreon.com slash papateachme. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.